Well, in this video we shall consider the integration by the method of substitution of problem number 34, 35 and 36 of exercise 7.2. So these are the three problems. Example number 34, 35, 36. Now let's do the integration of these three problems one by one. Now let me take the 34th problem. So I will write it like this. Let i be equal to integral root tan x divided by sin x into cos x sin x into cos x dx in this problem you have sin x and cos x in the denominator usually if sin x and cos x is present in the denominator and numerator is tan x it is better to multiply and divide the denominator by cos x so it's like this multiply and divide the denominator by cos x and see what happens so i becomes equal to root of tan x divided by sin x by cos x and dividing and i also have to multiply so this becomes cos square x so that I can cancel one cos x and cos x I get back sin x cos x term into dx so this can be written as integral root of tan x divided by sin x by cos x is tan x and here you have 1 over cos square x this is nothing but 1 by cos square x that is secant square x into dx. You know the purpose of writing it in this way is to make this substitution. You can also do it like this. This is continue like this. Numerator is root of tan x, denominator is tan x. So this tan x goes to the numerator. This becomes tan x to the power of minus half. There is half power here. In the numerator you have tan x to the power of half. In denominator you have tan x to the power of 1. So when tan x goes to the numerator it becomes half minus 1. And that gives minus half into secant square x dx. Now you make the substitution. What is the substitution? You know if you put tan x equals t put tan x equals t. So differentiating what we get secant square x dx equals dt. Now you replace secant square x dx by dt in the problem. So I equals integral t to the power of minus half dt. Now you integrate. You know the integration of t to the power of minus half. t to the power of minus half plus 1 by minus half plus 1. That is t to the power of half divided by half plus c that is nothing but 2 goes to the numerator 2 root t plus c therefore i equals now finally you substitute for t this is 2 into root of what did you put t t is tan x plus the constant of integration c Okay, it's a very simple problem. Now we'll take the next problem. I equals integral 1 plus log x whole square divided by x dx. You know, if you have 1 by x dx as a component in the problem, it is better to substitute log term as t. So what can you do here is straight away put 1 plus log x is equal to t. This implies upon differentiation. Differentiating 1 you get 0 plus log x is 1 by x dx equals d. So what can you do now? There is 1 here. You understand? It's understood that there is 1 here. So 1 by x dx 
1 by x dx is replaced by dt. So i becomes equal to 1 plus log x. 1 plus log x you have put as t. So it is 1 plus log x whole square, so it is t square. And 1 by x dx. 1 by x dx is dt. That's all. So this becomes t cube by 3 plus c after integration or i equals what is t here? 1 plus log x whole to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus c. That is the answer. So remember, if you have 1, 1 by x dx in the problem, then put logarithm of x equals t or 1 plus log x equals t. Okay. The third problem, that is problem number 36, i equals integral x plus 1 into x 1 plus log x whole square divided by x dx. You can write it like this, this is nothing but 1 plus log x whole square into 1 plus log x whole square is written as it is. But while writing x plus 1 by x, you separate x by x plus 1 by x. x by x is 1 plus 1 by x into dx. x plus 1 by x is nothing but 1 plus 1 by x dx. Uh, why did we write so? Because we want to put 1 plus log x equals t. If you put 1 plus log x equals t, then you can also have the replacement factor obtained. So directly you can replace 1 plus 1 by x dx. Hmm? Or if you simply put log x equals t, what happens? 1 plus uh, t log x equals t. However, you can do it. You just think, ah, what is the substitution? You just have to think. Okay. Hmm. So, if you definitely have to have 1 plus 1 by x dx as the replacement factor, then what should be the differential, what should be here if you want to get, uh, what should be here if you want to get 1 there? Yes. Then this problem should be reading like this, x plus log x. Okay. So, you know what happens if you change it to x plus log x? This is x plus log x. The problem, I think I have written it wrong. Please make the correction. It is not 1 plus log x as I had written earlier. Please make the correction. It is x plus log x into x plus 1 by x. And this is x plus log x whole square. So, this is correct x plus 1, okay. And x plus log x. Earlier I had written 1. Please make the change. It is x plus log x whole square divided by x dx. So this is x plus log x whole square into 1 plus 1 by x dx. You know, this x by x is 1 plus 1 by x is 1 by x. I have written as it is. Now I can substitute x plus log x is equal to t. So that now I get 1 plus 1 by x. You know, differential coefficient of x is 1. Differential coefficient of log x is 1 by x into dx equals t. So that this portion... 1 plus 1 by x dx component gets replaced by dt and the problem becomes i equals integral x plus log x x plus log x is t and since it is x plus log x square this becomes t square into 1 plus 1 by x dx is dt so integrating this becomes p cube p cube by 3 plus c or i equals I equals 
Now substitute for t, what is t? t is x plus log x. So it is x plus log x whole cube divided by 3 plus c. So we have finished three problems of the class 12 NCIRT book of exercise 7.2 on integration by method of substitution. Problem number 34, 35, 36. Okay.